Hey guys, welcome to episode 20. Yay! So today's um review is gonna be, I guess it would be characterized as a TV show. Um it is an interview and it is something that was released uh, a couple of years ago. I believe it wasn't released at first. So I'm gonna give you um a little clip and also the hairdo is inspired by the psychoticness of one's mind. And that is the person being interviewed. That's what they got guys in robes for, they judge. Okay, so obviously that's uh, Charles Manson. And this is an interview done. Well, the second part of the question is, if you resent it, then why did you keep doing things to get it back into jail? And what I meant by the hairdo was... Uh, all the girls, you know, walked around with their little skip or whatever, and that, like, crazy face smiling, so, um, no disrespect to everyone who died from them, but it was just, uh, showing what, uh, how crazy people can look. So being that this is a, uh, obviously true story, um, most known for the Sharon Tate murders. Um, I would like to send my apology, condolences, prayers to everyone from all the families that were um, murdered or hurt by um, Charles Manson and his little crew. Uh, I have been following him. Uh, I follow a lot of crime, different things, but this, uh, all right. So this is Charles Manson interview and it was with Penny Daniels and this took place in 1989 and yes, it's 2023. Um, I believe this was uploaded, uh, like three years ago. Um, so I don't really have like the regular type things that I normally would have. But, um, I found this on YouTube, so you can watch this on YouTube. Just, um, I guess type in Charles Manson interview with Penny Daniels 1989, or part of that at least, and this should come up. Um, I found it by accident because of stuff that I've watched on him, uh, because he was, uh, so psychotic, and <laughs> some of these girls just, uh, I was reading the comments of today, and some of these girls are just so impressed by him and it's horrifying that there's I mean I'm glad he's dead he deserves to be dead he deserved to live um behind bars like his whole life so in this interview I believe he's in his 50s and it is just her obviously interviewing him um but his, I, I will say this, his answers are terrible, like, he doesn't seem to want to answer anything, and, like, the one question I do believe she asked, like, three times, and he still was giving his little nonsense, and if anyone follows him, you know that that's what he did, he just would sit there and ramble on and make nothing but nonsense, and doesn't take... I don't want to say credit, doesn't, does, he, he does not want to admit to what he has done and what he has created. And these were like some of, okay, so it's been years now, and no, I was not alive in, um, when all this occurred. Um, I was still not even like, <laughs> thought about, put it that way. Um, but I, I just, it blows my mind still today. And, um, I actually didn't even know about it one day when I was younger. Uh, one of the geniuses that, uh, was in his group that did, like, just mild killing, uh, was up for parole. And I looked at her and said, oh, a little old lady, like, she looks so sweet, you know? And then I Googled who she was. And, um, <laughs> and everything else that popped up, and then that's when I, like, found out exactly, like, every little detail, uh, because I've watched several movies and stuff. This is the first interview I've ever found on YouTube that was this direct, especially since it was 1989, and as you can see, the, um, video looks from, it looks like it's from 1989, but I definitely would watch it. It, um, it gives you a little, um, help, 
uh, I wouldn't say help. I don't know what the word is, but it gives you a little bit of, um, an idea of what goes through Mr. Crazy's head. So, um, I'm gonna get my list. Oh, so it's, um, let me see how long this thing is. Okay, so it's 56 minutes long. Again, it's from 1989, but was just posted later on. So we're going with 1989, episode 21, uh, called Charles Manson Interview with Penny Daniels, 1989. And it's just Charles Manson uh, pretty much is the only one shown other than some guards in the background and another guy that he tears apart for no reason um, verbally. And uh, obviously Penny Daniels, who I have not seen yet, but I'm only at... Kids I'm okay with, but when you get grown up... I'm only at 31, so I'm <laughs> jumping ahead. I drop something no matter what I do. It's, like, kind of amazing. Um, so I gotta get myself to, uh, actually hand therapy. So I'm trying to find a page that I had just the basics down. I'm uh, gonna try episode 18, because I think I did. Um, so, and keep in mind, I'm only halfway there. I'm at 32 minutes right now. So I'm just going to go by what I have. Because, like I said, I have to go. But, um, so I, I didn't hear him talk about dead animals or dog or cat or bug. Uh, or, or bug scenes. Um, drug use, we all know that they were on it. But, uh, he has not said anything about it yet. Uh, excessive gore, again, no. We're watching, um, the interview that was taken in his jail, but, uh, he has not gotten into all the excessive gore that they did cause. Um, but no, it's not shown or talk about so far. Clowns, no. Vomit, no. Um, gross scenes, no. The hospital, mental institutions, uh, is definitely mentioned, I would say. He seems like he is talking about some mental things that he might have taken place in a mental institution, I don't really know. Um, I probably should have studied that, but I believe he was in mental institutions at some point. Um, but most of his life was spent in jail or on that ranch, which is so known. Okay, so suicide, no. For shaky cam, no. It's actually pretty good, pr very well taken for a 1989 video. Um... Because, as you know, they get distorted when you put them in today's world. And it's such a shame because there's so much history, even of me, that I had on the old, like, the the rolls. The kind of that, the screen projector. Like, there was, like, we really had videos of that. Like, that's what I used growing up. So, well, I didn't, but Mommy and Daddy used when I was growing up. So, it's a shame. Um, that's so, uh, off to topic. Um, so abortion, no. Language, so far, hasn't really been bad. Um, but who knows? You never know with him. Sexual content is interesting because, no, obviously nothing's shown in this prison video. But, um, he does, you know, talk about stuff. Um, but it's, a uh, very mild so far, not very detailed. Um, so obviously no nudity. Um, that's it. That's it for my list. Um, I really thought there was another one, but whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know where it went. Okay, so anyway, um, I know this is not like my usual, but just thought this was a pretty good, um, thing to, uh, clip to check out. I gotta run, but thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon.